Forget that 3 4. Just go right into 4 4. Play it around, that's so important. Yeah. 8 into 43. I guess this is loud at the beginning. It's loud. Well, no, mezzo forte. Okay. One more rehearsal. Like Wayne did for his child, save yourselves, Chris. Four, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Most of the time, we're just there as color stuff. This movie, the whole brass, all the brass, French horns, trombones, tubas, everything, are so out front and so um, in your face, so... Creativity, uh, use of pulling together so many things, uh, the great atmosphere on the scoring stage. I like things to be relaxed. I like to have a good time. I love what I'm doing, and I want everyone else on the team and around me to kind of feel that same way. After I met with Tim, I was like, this guy's going to help me convey that to everybody. Tim and I have worked on everything ever since, and I can't imagine working on something without him at this point. And this has been his and my you know, greatest opportunity to, to do something really, a great project that we love, and it, it was fun. I was looking for a specific sound, and it was kind of keyed into the design of the movie, which is kind of the future as seen from the mid-60s, sort of. It's supposed to be kind of of a period, but also timeless. So I was looking for the equivalent in the music as well. When I first met him, he knew uh, the style, the feel of the music that he wanted, quasi jazz orchestra things, and um, which rarely, you know, doesn't really happen that much more. It's usually, if it does happen now, it's kind of infused with techno elements and something very modern. But what he wanted was something just purely of that era. Brad wanted that analog sound, that 60s kind of a sound, and brass definitely does sound better on tape than it does on digital. I've been mixing sound since 1946, and I got into film in 1964, I think. There was a very uh, different way of recording then than they do now. Now everything is so separated and they do think they don't have the orchestra all together. Dan is an engineer that came from the days when they used to do it, what I consider the right way. You have everyone in the room, you have everyone playing against each other, they feed off each other's energy and the pieces are so much more musical because of that. And that's why I work with Dan, because he gives me the sound that I, that I know from growing up as a kid listening to music.
Yeah, well, yeah, but I think we should get one. Just let's just do it again, and we'll be done with it. One more. Only one more. Yeah, yeah.